While mold is a natural part of the environment, exposure to elevated levels of it indoors can be a problem. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that mold can cause many health effects, including stuffy nose, sore throat, coughing or wheezing, burning eyes, or a skin rash. The agency also states that people with asthma or who are allergic to mold may have severe reactions and that immune compromised people and people with chronic lung disease could even get lung infections from mold. Certain molds are also toxigenic, meaning they can produce toxins known as mycotoxins. Controlling moisture and humidity are key to preventing indoor mold growth. For those that do encounter mold, in many instances it may be best to allow qualified professionals to handle the situation and take the necessary steps to prevent it from returning. The CDC has also published the infographic, 8 Tips to Clean Up Mold. The tips listed by the agency include Protect yourself. Put on personal protective equipment to protect your eyes, nose, mouth, and skin. Toss. Take it out. Anything that was wet with flood water and can't be cleaned and dried out completely within 24 to 48 hours should be taken outside. Take photos of discarded items for filing insurance claims. Air it out. Open all doors and windows when you are working and leave as many open as you safely can when you leave. Circulate. When electricity is safe to use, use fans and dehumidifiers to remove moisture. Don't mix cleaners. If you use cleaning products, do not mix cleaning products together. Do not mix bleach and ammonia because it can create toxic vapors. Scrub surfaces. Clean with water and a detergent. Remove all mold you can see and dry it right away. Don't cover it, remove it. Painting or caulking over mold will not prevent mold from growing. Fix the water problem completely and clean up all the mold before you paint or caulk. Dry it up. Dry your home and everything in it as quickly as possible, ideally within 24 to 48 hours. These are just a few things to know about indoor mold growth. To learn more about this or other building science, water damage, indoor air quality, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.